flesh. Let's peer into the workings of the eye, a unique and self-sustaining system. The reflected light of the world enters through the crystal transparency of the cornea, aqueous humor, lens, and vitreous humor to project onto the photoreceptors of the retina, whose impulses converge on the optic nerve and then to the brain to be transfigured into imagery and imbued with meaning. Continual adjustments to the pupil and lens regulate the entry and focusing of light. In today's world, the eye surface is constantly challenged to protect itself and adjust to changing conditions. Every blink helps our eye's natural defense system, the tear film, retain moisture and maintain visual acuity. Tears contain potent natural disinfectants to keep bacteria at bay. And the tear system washes away impurities to maintain eye health. The miraculous biology of our eyes inspires us to develop ways we can protect and maintain comfort for these remarkable structures. The eye is a remarkable part of the human body that responds to changing light conditions and can focus on varying light rays in an instant. A man-made device that shares many of the functionalities of the human eye is the camera. Many features of a camera are mechanical copies of what happens in the eye. In the human eye, the first thing light hits is the cornea. The cornea takes widely diverging rays of light and bends them through a small opening in the eye center called the pupil. The cornea actually performs about 70% of the necessary bending of light before it gets to the eye's lens. This is similar to a front lens of a camera's lens system. Behind the cornea is the iris, which gives the eye its color and controls the amount of light that enters the pupil. The iris is much like a diaphragm of a camera, which determines the size of the aperture. The lens of the eye functions much like the lens of a camera by bending light to a focal point. However, the physical properties of each lens are very different. The lens of an eye is a flexible structure that changes shape when adjusting its focus. With a camera, adjusting the focus is done in a different way. Here the lens is made of optical glass, which is a rigid structure with no flexibility. A camera will adjust its focus by moving the lens closer or further away from the film. This is called the focal length. The retina is the part of the eye that acts much like the film of a camera. The retina is a membrane containing photoreceptor nerve cells that lie in the inside back wall of the eye. These nerve cells change the light rays into electrical impulses and send them through the optic nerve to the brain where an image is perceived. With a camera, film captures the image by allowing in a certain amount of light that will affect the film on a molecular level. The eye is a much more sophisticated and complex structure than a camera but both share the basic function of capturing light and color to produce an image. An advantage of a camera is that we can capture a moment in time and refer back to it whenever we want. However, we need our eyes to experience that visual moment in time. 